Heute zeige ich Ihnen Today I will show you how to run MATLAB Simulink models with the new Somatic IPC 427D and installed soft PLC WinAC. One use of Simulink is to simulate real processes, such as a rotor blade of a wind turbine, and then to implement a corresponding control algorithm. You can then port this control algorithm to the WinAC. To do so, you must create an SCL source with a DLL or RTDLL. The DLL contains the algorithm of the model and the SCL source contains a function block that executes the DLL from step 7. This function block then has the same interfaces as the original Simulink model. With WinAC target and Simulink, it is very easy to generate this code fully automatically. I will show you this using a simple example. First I open MATLAB and open my model that contains the PID controller and my simulation sequence. In this case, it is a simple temperature range that is adjusted from a PID block. In order to run this PID block on the WinAC, I must first extract the PID block from this model. To this end, I have created a separate model that contains just the PID controller. Here we see its variable setpoint, PID output and process value. Before I code the PID controller, I still have to make a few settings. To do so, I simply click Code, C, C++ Code, Code Generation Options. Here I need to make sure that WinAC target is selected under System Target File. I also have the option of going to the Interface tab and activating the external mode of Simulink. With the external mode, I will subsequently have the option of connecting with Simulink directly from the model and visually displaying the variables and signals. To do so, I just need to enter the IP address of the Somatic IPC. Under WinAC options, you will find the WinAC target specific settings. Here I can select whether I want to create a Windows DLL or an RTDLL or whether I want to use Step 7 version 5 or TIA portal. In addition, we have a parameter with which I can allow access from Step 7 to the model's internal parameters. I simply click OK here to complete the settings. Now I can immediately start generating the code. I simply click Build Model, and Simulink uses WinAC target to build the code I need to run it on the WinAC. First it generates the C code, which is then coded in an RTDLL or DLL and SCL source. Here at the end I see the text Successful Compilation of Build Procedure for Model, which indicates the coding had no errors. Now I start the TIA portal and open my pre-built project with the Somatic IPC 427D. I navigate in WinAC to External Source Files and click Add New External File to incorporate the SCL source that was just created. I select the SCL source and click Open. The SCL source is now embedded in my project. As the next step, I right-click the source and click Generate Blocks from Source. The TIA portal now creates the function block that contains the controller. Next I open the Program Blocks folder and click my Cyclic OB in which the function block, or to be more precise, the PID controller should be called up. I simply drag the function block to the first network and confirm the creation of the instance data block. As the next step, I open my global data block to supply the PID controller with signals. For this purpose, I simply display both editors side by side and drag the variables from the data block to the PID controller. The setpoint, the PID output, and process value. To be able to start the PID controller later, I also link in Enable Signal. This completes the programming, and I close all editors. As the next step, I must copy the DLL over to my IPC. To do so, I start the remote connection of my Somatic IPC and navigate to my programming computer, where WinAC target stored the DLL. I can find the DLL right away in the binary folder. I right-click the DLL, click Copy, 
Click the C drive of the IPC and insert the DLL directly here. After the DLL has been copied over and the project has been loaded on the controller, I can set the WinAC to the run mode. I now go back to the TIA portal and open my watch table where all variables are listed. I click the Go Online button and connect directly with the controller. I now activate the Monitor All function to be able to track all variables online. I now transfer a set point of 50 to my PID controller and set Data Enable to True so that the controller starts. From the variables, I can recognize that I have done everything correctly. I will now arrange my TIA portal so that I can observe it at the same time as my Simulink model. As the next step, I will use the Simulink model to connect directly to the DLL on the IPC. I can now follow the variables here graphically. If I now set a target value of 80, for example, and download it to the controller, I can directly follow the impact in the graphic. I immediately see the target value at 80. With the external mode, not only can I follow variables online, but I can also open a block directly and modify parameters live within the model. For example, I can change the limit of the PID controller. I set it to 60 and immediately see the impact in the graphic. As you have seen, it is easy to run a Simulink model on WinAC in just a few steps. You can create the code with Simulink and WinAC target without having any experience with C programming. You will find more information and the free download of WinAC target on our Industry Online support homepage. Thank you.